We are down to our final speaker. We are down to our final speaker. Adria has just got off a flight from the US this morning, packed into my dad's car, and rallied here to just land with these ladies this morning. Perfect timing, perfect timing. And um, I'm delighted to introduce Adria L. Peters. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll keep it short. You've been sitting here for a really long time. Uh, I come from a state called Vermont in the United States, and um, where cannabis is uh, legalized and uh, used so uh, in medicine and many things. I am, uh, I, it's interesting because I first want to congratulate everybody that's written a book, who's thought about writing a book, who's here in experiencing this and being part of it because it's just, it's sacred. The, the act of writing something is a very sacred experience. And for me, I tend to process whatever I'm thinking through writing. That's the only way I actually know how to process something. I can't necessarily say straight up how I feel about something. So my series, Becoming True at Sky, that's uh, the first book um, called The City on the Sea, is coming out at the end of the year. And it's a compilation of all the things that I'm obsessed about. If I were to ever give advice to somebody that is wanting to be a writer or um, doesn't know where to start, I would say make a list of everything that you're obsessed about and then write about that. Because you're going to spend many years with the, that novel, not you know writing it, editing it, promoting it, sharing it, and potentially writing something similar. I think that we write the stories we tell are who we are. So even if you're changing, you're writing one book in Ireland or one in Australia, it's still you, fundamentally you. Um, I write fiction uh, that's very grounded. I, um, the things that I was obsessed about were mathematics, <laughs> death, what the heck is a soul, why, why do I feel separate from this thing called a soul, and physics. I was obsessed with theoretical physics. I'm not a scientist. I don't have any scientific background. I, uh, I didn't know why I was so obsessed with it until I started writing and I discovered that it blew away this, the great conspiracy called time. <laughs> and even from a young age, I thought, I would ask my dad, who's a scientist, why is time? What? I don't get it. <laughs> like, who said it's 12.30? Like, I, I don't get that. It didn't make sense to me. And subsequently in my life, I experienced a lot of death as a young person, a lot of tragic deaths, uh, deaths of people I loved quite dearly. And I could not accept that that was the end, that they didn't go on, that life didn't actually start again immediately or maybe in this little place that I call the city on the sea, which is where the character in my novel, when she dies suddenly, goes to and discovers that she's actually quite busy there as a theoretical physicist. Mm -hmm. So um, I, you know, I like to take something giant and complicated and really hard to understand and try to pin it down and put it into a story that makes sense and that you could use. I hope that with True at Sky, You'll read it for the science, or you'll read it because you lost someone that you love dearly and you don't know what happened to them and you need comforted in knowing that it doesn't end and that, in fact, in the city on the sea, which is sort of my version of heaven, that the world completely revolves around you. <laughs> and, and, and that's the truth. Whether you're alive or dead, the world revolves around you. It is your world. It is your soul. You are not separate. There is no there and here, it's all one. And I think that everybody in this room, I'm, I'm pleased to be in this audience because I think that's something that holds true for everyone here. And that there isn't anything to be afraid of. And uh, as we go forward and we write these novels and we share these novels and we experience the rest of the day, because I'm the wrap up, <laughs> um, I hope that you feel comforted knowing that uh, we're all in this together and uh, you're not separate from anything. Thank you. Thank you.